everybody it's your girl and welcome back to my channel so today i'm here to have a little story time and it's actually the birth of monty who's my two-year-old son um he had a pretty interesting interest into the world so let's get into it so monty was born may 28th 2018 um at just 24 weeks and five days one pound and ten ounces so let's see let's talk about it you know so about may 21st 2018 i woke up feeling kind of bizarre and i was like you know i'm gonna push through get to work i did that got home lamont who was monty's dad was like oh i'll bring your ginger ale home which he did and i kind of just rested the very next morning I went to work and on my lunch break I went to the store and I got a pregnancy test just because I'm like something's just not quite right so I take it when I get home and I wait for Lamont to get home and it was positive so I was like okay like let me start calling some folks so now fast forward to May 23rd the very next day I'm like at work, not working, just looking up information, doctors' offices, places to go, insurance, the whole nine. So I got a few things taken care of, and I was still just like shook because I'm like, is this really real, you know? So Lamont and I still, like I said, just shook. So I text my boss and I'm just like, hey, I need to take off. I found a place that would get me in to see about my pregnancy. She was like, cool. So I take off and Lamont and I go. This is on May 25th. I have an appointment. And so we make it there. They show us baby and we're like, oh my gosh, it's a real, like a full grown baby. We're like, whoa. So, they didn't have enough technology to give us an exact week, date type of timeline. So, they were going to refer us to another place that had better equipment. But we didn't need that. Monty was born May 28th, 2018, three days later, after finding out I was pregnant. Like, that was, all, that was it. Those three days. So, uh, fast forward to what I just said. I then started having trouble breathing on the night before Monty's birth on May 27th. So I kind of tried to push through and I was like, maybe it's just all in my head. Now that I know I'm pregnant, I'm like, something's wrong. So about 2 a.m. I wake Lamont and I'm like, no, I pushed through enough. Like, I need to go to the hospital. So we go, everything's good. They check me in. I let them know, like, hey, I just found out I was pregnant, like, three days ago. So, yeah, just heads up. So, they confirmed, like, yeah, you are. Like, congrats. This and the third. We do the whole shebang. And they were like, oh, well, you look like you have preeclampsia. Your blood pressure is pretty high. So, the blood pressure combined with the me not being able to breathe, let them know that I had severe preeclampsia. So, the next doctor that comes on shift, now we're like at 10 a.m., she says, well, we're going to deliver him tonight. And I'm like, no, we're not. They just showed me him, and he's super tiny. He's only like a pound. And she was like, yeah, he stands better chances out here in the world than inside. That was it. That was all she wrote. I just passed out. <laughs> No, but I felt like I passed out. So I called my mom and I'm like panicked. And not like panicked, like, oh, help me. I'm a damsel in distress. Like, I'm upset. I'm mad. I'm like, no, I'm leaving. These people are crazy. And she's in D.C., mind you. Lamont and I's family are in D.C. and we're in North Carolina. So she has a four and a half hour drive ahead of her. She's like, okay, well, let me get ready. Just calm down, please. She makes it. Two and a half hours before Monty is born. At 9.36 at night, she makes it. I go in for an emergency C-section, his dad and I. And he came into the world. One pound, ten ounces. So small, but so long. 
and just such a like fighter and I ended up having to stay 14 days to fight off my preeclampsia and his dad ended up staying with me and it was so it was such a hard time but I feel like it made us strong like as a brick house like strong Monty ended up staying for 108 days to his due date um so he can gain some weight and just finish growing really and then he was able to come home in the fall and yeah he was a really just it was a miracle he's my miracle baby and we just enjoy him so much i'm gonna insert some photos of him here somewhere so that you all can check him out he He's doing well and he's like off the charts as far as growth goes and developmentally. So I'm just so blessed. We're blessed to have him. And that is my story time of how I didn't know I was pregnant until three days before giving birth. Like, so it's crazy. But if you like this video, leave me a thumbs up down below and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss the next time I post another video. All right, y'all. Bye.